Dear friends, if you want to install macOS Ventura in early 2015 or any other MacBook which is not supporting macOS Ventura, I will show you how to do it. For that, you need to go to Safari and open google.com and type github legacy patcher. Then you can see this github website open this and you need to click on this latest one go down and select this open core patcher gui dot app dot zip and it will download the open core legacy patch file right click on this click on show in finder then move this core patcher to applications and double click on this click on open then it will open open core legacy patcher version 0.5.1 so here you can see the option build and install open core post install root patch create mac os installer settings help you need to click on this create mac os installer then it will show you to download macOS installer and use existing macOS installer. Here you need to select download macOS installer if you are installing for the first time. If you already downloaded the file you can use existing macOS installer. So click on this download macOS installer. Then it will show you 11.7.1, 12.6.1, 13.0. 11.7.1 is Big Sur, this one is Monterey and 13.0 is Ventura. So we need to click on this 13.0. So it will start downloading macOS 13.0. It will take some time, depends upon your internet speed. We will come back after downloading. So after the download finish it will show you finish extracting to application folder. So when you are going to application folder you can see install macOS Ventura installation file. Then connect your USB and click on this flash installer. Click on this install macOS Ventura. Click OK here. Then it will start creating the macOS installation media. But if it is showing this error, don't worry. Click OK here. Return to the main menu. Here you need to press create macOS installer. Select use existing macOS installer. Click on this install macOS Ventura. Select this disk. Then it will ask you the administrator password. Give administrator password. Then it will start creating the bootable media for macOS Ventura. So we have successfully created the Mac OS installer. Now you need to click on this install open core to disk. So it will install some files in the USB disk. Click on this. So it finished the building open core configuration. We need to install this to disk. Click on install to disk. It will show you the existing macbook pro disk 500 gb and disk to 32 gb this is our usb disk we need to select this so it will create an efi partition to install this open core so select this give administrator password
then it is asking to reboot so once we reboot it we need to boot from the USB while rebooting you need to press this alt or option key in the keyboard to boot from the USB so click on reboot click on this restart so once restart press the alt or option key in the keyboard then it will show you Mac OS install Mac OS Ventura and EFI boot select this EFI boot and you can see Mac OS and install Mac OS Ventura select this install Mac OS Ventura here you can see install Mac OS Ventura and the disk utility if you want to install a fresh installation you need to click on this disk utility and click continue and you can see the Mac OS hard disk here just click on this hard disk and click erase then you need to close this disk utility and if you are installing Mac OS Ventura then it will be a fresh installation here we need to upgrade the existing installation so we don't want to lose any data so click on this install click continue click continue here agree here agree here select the disk click continue click continue here and it will start installing mac os ventura so the installation is successful after we logged in it will show you this message open core legacy patcher has detected that you are booting open core from an usb or external drive would you like to launch open core legacy patcher to install to disk click ok here then it will ask you to install it to disk install to disk now it is showing which disk we need to install now we need to select our internal disk as the destination select this and it will show you the EFI partition so select that and it will ask you admin password give admin password click ok then it will ask you to reboot after installation so you need to click on this reboot and press the alt or option key in the keyboard to select our new internal drive as a boot device restart it press the alt or option key then it will show you the boot option select this EFI boot click enter then select this Mac OS click enter so now it booted from the internal drive put your username and password now we have successfully installed our mac os ventura on early 2015 macbook pro so if you want to avoid the boot picker you need to click on this open core patcher click on the settings and check this show boot picker then it won't show you the boot picker while you are booting the mac os that's all for today thank you for watching my video please do subscribe for more videos